Hi everybody, Nan here from Breakthrough M2 Weight Loss to Wellness. So, uh, today's video is gonna be all about prepping and we are going to use the freezer to help us prep for the week and I wanna show you a few quick, easy tips just to make sure you're ready. One of the biggest pieces of advice that our successful clients give to our newbies is that you need to have your meals prepped. Now on the Breakthrough Program, you need two fruits, two vegetables, and two proteins every single day. And two times seven is 14, so 14 of each needs to be ready. Successful clients have found that once they have that ready, they're mentally relaxed, they know they've taken care of themselves first, and if life happens unexpectedly and they're hungry, their food is ready. So here we go. Okay, so real quick, uh, one of the things you can do is you could buy fresh broccoli in a bag already cut up. You can also buy frozen broccoli if you want and then just repackage uh, it on your own. Now, what I've done today is I have taken, uh, I have my scale, okay? I'm going to just turn it on. I'm going to put my, um, my plate on there and I'm gonna zero it out. Okay, now that I have it zeroed out, Originally, I put fresh broccoli on this scale and I got it up to 28 ounces. Now, I won't say 28 on here. What it will say is um, uh, one pound and 12 ounces. So a pound is 16 ounces plus 12 more is 28 ounces. Now I'm saying 28 ounces because 3.5 times eight servings is 28 ounces and each serving has to be 3.5. So I know I had, 20, I had 28 ounces on here, eight servings. I cooked up my broccoli, and what I'm gonna do is just re-weigh it now because I want to make sure that um, I know how, how much I have after it's cooked, right? And after it's cooked, I'm going to divide that by eight and put that um, in the baggies. Okay, so we're going to now I did add some um, water and I added some uh, fresh garlic. And of course I added my seasonings. Um, and we're going to get this all weighed out. Okay, now that comes out to one pound 14 ounces. Okay, so we're still at about 3.5 per serving. And again, the reason why it's a little heavier now is because of the water and the garlic. All right, so, I'm gonna break this up into eight servings. I'm going to take the 30 ounces and divide by eight. So each baggie is about 3.75 ounces. And that's what we're gonna do. We'll put them in here and we'll have it all ready to go. The other thing that people use is containers. You could buy them right at the dollar store. You can get them with a separator if you want, or you can just get the regular one. Um, these are cheap. They're like, I don't know, five for two bucks, something like that. Now, as far as the protein's concerned, what I did was I weighed the protein out ahead of time, all right? I cooked, this was about 3.5, this was 3.4. These two pieces together came out to 3.5, okay? So I cooked them in little piles and then these will all go into separate baggies and we'll put that in the freezer. The next thing I wanna show you is our fruit. Now you'll notice these are a little bit white and that's because these were put into the freezer just like this, okay? Now, um, the protocol calls for seven ounces of strawberries and that's what I will put on the scale. And seven ounces will again go into a baggie and we'll put that right into the freezer. Um, the other things I just wanna show you real quick, you absolutely can season up your food with different spices. Just make sure that your spices don't have any sugar in them. Uh, and now you have uh, ideas of how you can use the freezer. Okay. So the other thing that we like to do in the Breakthrough Room 2 program is we make taco meat or we make our own sloppy joe mix. And with that, you're going to take your one pound of uh, fresh ground beef, uh, you're gonna cut off two ounces. Now you've got 14 ounces, that's four 3.5 servings. So you break that up into four equal parts and then you can put them in baggies for hamburgers or put it in, the, in your saute pan, cook it up, add your spices. Again, you can weigh it, divide by four, and now you know how much has to go into each bag. So we highly encourage you to just do your prep uh, once a week, maybe on a Sunday, get your 14 bags of each thing all ready to go. Um, so you have your uh, fruits, vegetables, and proteins ready. Freeze some, keep some in the fridge for yourself. 
um, and then you're just going to uh, be ready for the week. And that is what we really want you to do. We want you to be successful in our program and giving you tips to do it. Well, that's it for today. I wanna thank you for joining me. And I also want to say that prepping can be easy. Um, and when you do that, you really are taking care of yourself first, and that's a great thing. So again, use that freezer, use your Ziploc baggies, use your scale, get everything prepped up for yourself, and have a great week. Bye-bye.